Welcome to a new video from Alishop and today we're going to compare a Hakko soldering station with a lookalike from AliExpress. There are many soldering stations with either a passive or an active tip of which active tips perform better, but overall they are also more expensive. Hakko for instance sells one of those stations with an active tip the FX 951. However, this station is quite an investment, so we were curious if this Chinese clone would be able to do the same job. At first, they both seem to look alike, but the question is, if that is true, why would you ever consider buying the original soldering station if the station from AliExpress costs about four times cheaper? And that is why I'm going to compare these two products. Let's first start by taking a look at the outside of both soldering stations. The first thing that you can notice is that the Hakko logo is missing on the station from AliExpress. Another thing to notice is that both stations use different types of soldering irons. The original iron is a FM2028 soldering iron that uses T15 tips, but the fake station uses a FX9501 soldering iron that only fits T12 tips. I noticed when I tried putting in and taking out both tips that the soldering iron of the original station has a couple safety mechanisms, so the tip doesn't fall out for instance. But that also means you need to use more force compared to the soldering iron of the fake station. With the FX9501 you can easily pull out the tip without detaching anything. However, unplugging the soldering iron from the fake station is quite dangerous since the cable is quite stuck in the station, which leads to the plastic cover of the cable moving instead. So the cables underneath get exposed and if you're not careful, you probably can get shocked. You won't have this problem with the original Hakko station. The stand of the original Hakko station is made of high quality materials and the iron perfectly fits into the hole, so the iron doesn't fall out in any way. However, the stand of the fake AliExpress station is quite bad. The iron doesn't perfectly fit into the holder unless you push quite hard and after using this station only for a couple times for this video, the paint of the holder already started to fall off and stick to the heating element of the soldering iron. Lastly, the fake station is also not perfectly flat on the bottom, which makes the station quite wobbly. Let's now continue with the inside of both stations. The first thing to notice is that the fake station uses two PCBs and the original station only has one, whereby the original PCB is a lot more dense with components. Another thing I noticed is the cabling. For instance, the way both these stations connect their cables is quite different. A bad thing I noticed with the cables of the fake station is that some cables are connected quite loose. So there is a high possibility that one of the cables will accidentally disconnect some moment in the future. Furthermore, I've also put each PCB under a microscope, so I could inspect the soldering quality. Firstly, this is the original Hakko PCB. The board looks very neat and clean. There are also no random spots of tin on the board, and there's very little flux residue on the board. But now the printed circuit board of the fake station. The board is quite a mess. There's quite some flux residue, but this does not create any hazards, so that is acceptable. However, the soldering done at some places is very concerning. These spots, for instance, are the spots that will break your station and are a potential fire hazard, or just these unnecessary blobs of tin on the board. There are also some pins that are not cut up properly and point out quite a lot. So overall, the soldering of the board is quite poorly done. If you want to see a complete teardown and analysis of the circuitry, I advise you to watch this video about another FX951 clone. You can find the link in the description. Furthermore, we did a small test to check ESD safety, because both devices claim they are ESD safe. Out of these tests, there appeared to be no problem with ESD safety for both devices. Lastly, we measured the temperature of both tips to see if they match with the temperatures that were shown on the displays of the station. From this experiment, we found out that the fake soldering station heats up way faster than the original station but this caused a very big overshoot and it takes a very long time for it to decrease to the desired 350 degrees Celsius, which could possibly damage your PCB. The original Hakko station has no overshoot and perfectly reaches up till 350 degrees Celsius. 
In short summary, the fake Hakka station uses a different soldering iron with different types of tips than the original Hakka station. Furthermore, concerning the fake station, the cable of the soldering iron and the soldering iron holder are quite unsafe and made of bad quality. The temperature of the tip has a quite big offset and overshoot which can cause damage to your components or board. And lastly, the soldering done on the PCB is quite bad which can lead to your station becoming defective quite fast and it may even lead to a potential fire hazard. In conclusion, if you don't have enough budget for the original Hakko FX951, buy a different soldering station than a fake clone. For 100 euros for instance, there are enough decent soldering stations available. So hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you at the next video.